Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to use Plus to perform the motion capture just by using your camera, your webcam, or any of the MP4 video. It is going to use the AI to capture the motions and send it as a RL motions, the iClone motion file for your iClone 7 3D animation software. This is the iClone 7 and later I'm going to step by step show you how to perform the motion capture by using the video in PLUS. So first, you just need to go to my video description, click into the first link, then you should be able to enter the PLUS.ai. This is a website where allow you to just use a video to capture the animation to capture the body motions. First, you have to sign in by using your, your Google account, your Gmail account. Once you already sign in, you have to click Get Started. Alright, once you click in already, it will automatically load all of this. You have to wait until it finish load. Now, it finish loaded already, you can see the mannequin, zombie, etc. And I'm going to show you step by step. First, you need to prepare a video. It is just take it easy, prepare an MP4 video. You can just use your phone to capture yourself. And now this is just a sample video that I get from the official site of the Plus. You can see this is a woman who is dancing. And this is a video. Alright, so you will just use this video and next as demo I will just use the sample video mp4 next you have to click into your plus you already click in next you have to drag your video your sample video into here just drag in and drop your mouse export motion from the video you click confirm All right so now it is importing this video into the plus.ai. Now it is still uploading. You need to wait for a while. And then you should be able to click extract motions after it finished loaded. Now you can see actually totally how many seconds you check your original video. Your original video have 12 seconds. You can see 12 seconds. So now it already finished loaded into the website. And next you have to select select the part that you want to extract the motion. For example, now I select from here. All right, I just select from here. I only select the part that I want in that way. So let's say just a few seconds here. I try to play. All right, I just want to capture this this few frame. So now, just this few seconds, I want to capture. So next, I click Extract Motion and Exported Motion. This is the file name that you want. I will just name it as Dance Zero One, for example. Then I click OK, and it is going to use the AI. To perform the motion capture on these few seconds and extract it as a 3D animation into the avatar. Here you have to wait for a while until it finish. Alright, once you finish uploaded and finish, finish perform the motion capture, you can see the dance zero one is already here. What you must do is drag the dance zero ones into the mannequin and drop now and you have to wait for a while at this moment it is loading and now you can see the mannequin is inside here you try to play yes it is really the 3d animations next what you are going to do is click stop first and then, always remember, now you want to import it into your iClone 7. So you need to have another software that is called 3D Exchange. 
you can get the 3D Exchange 7 from, from here, get 3D Exchange Pipeline. All right, get the 3D Exchange Pipeline. First thing, what you are going to do is just go and download the, download the plus, download the plus mocap mannequin.iavatar plus mocap mannequin.iavatar for iCloud 7. This is the iavatar that I created for you just to, just to import from here. All right, this is really important. Just follow here step by step. Once you already download it, you will get this iAvatar. Drag it into your 3D Exchange 7. Just drag in. And then, here you have to scroll down and make sure you can see the motion library. Next, in your browser, in your plus.ai, you right click here, click export. And then the motion, you only choose the one that you want. That is the dance zero one, and the format you choose the FBX. Then you click export. At this moment, you need to wait until it is downloading. You have to wait until it is downloading. This is Google Chrome. Once it start downloads, it will appear at the corner here. You can see now it is start downloading already. This is the one that we want. So after it finished downloaded, I just click here, show in folder. Now, the mannequin one, this is the one, this is the animation. So I just right click here. As demo, I will just cut and paste onto my desktop. This is the one. So in your 3D Exchange 7, you drag in, drag in this into the, the motion library. Then choose the current character, click OK. Next, click Add All to perform and name it properly. Just double click it. Wait to rename this. You click it again and, and press Ctrl A and then press delete and you type a, a good name for example dance01 enter you, have, you can have a preview now this is really a dance that really successfully performed the motion capture from the video now I stop it next you can see my, my iClone, my iClone 7 already stand by there and this is the avatar, Heidi. Or Masons, I, I also drag up Masons, just have a look. Alright, now these two are iClone avatar. In your 3D exchange, what you are going to do is export it as iClone motion file. You have to click here and make sure you can see, you make sure you untick export geometry and only tick export animations. Then you tick here, export the RL motion, you browse it as demo, I will export it on my desktop. Here, I click OK. And then the motion file name, I already named it properly just now. This is the one, dance 01. I click OK, it will export it on my desktop. OK, so now you can see it is already exported on my desktop and now I try in iClone 7. This is the iClone motion file. The file extension is RL motions. I drag into Mason for example. Then I try to play. You can see now Mason already have the mocap dancing. At the same time, I also will just apply on Haiti and just have a look. Look at the effect. Now I try to play. Yes, you can see it really performed the motion capture for these few seconds in plus.ai. All right. So this is the original video. Just have a look. It is really awesome. It direct capture from the MP4. You can use any of, of the, the dancing or any of the martial arts, or you can just use the camera to record yourself. 
the full body recording, put your camera at the corner and record yourself, then perform the motion capture. All right, that's all for today about how to use the plus.ai to perform the motion capture and send it as an RL motion, the iClone motion file to iClone 7. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy happy animation and game developing. See you.